Hello class, welcome to today's demo and, and our next assignment. So we're calling this, we'll, we'll have choices. You can either work in graphite or charcoal. So we're calling it toned graphite or toned charcoal. And what that means is we put a tone of graphite or a tone of charcoal over the whole piece of paper and then we work additive, which is adding some charcoal or graphite, and then we work subtractive, which is subtracting that tone with our eraser. Let me first show you some examples. Here are some toned charcoal drawings right here. So you'll see the whole background is toned with a medium value of charcoal. And then I've added where I need to go dark, I've added charcoal, and where I need to make it lighter, I've erased the charcoal. And some areas are just left that middle tone that was the original tone of the paper. You see, here's the original tone of the paper. Here I've added some charcoal. Here I've subtracted some. And here I've just left it, left it alone. So that, say here's this reflected light under here it's just the same tone as I started with with the piece of paper. So I didn't have to do anything there. I erased for the highlights, I darkened for the core shadow, but in places like the reflected light, it might suffice to just leave it the tone of the paper. So there's toned charcoal. There's another one. Again, the whole piece of paper is toned with an even medium value. I've darkened it with my charcoal pencils here. I've lightened it here and for these highlights. And some places are just left the tone of the paper, the tone that I put on there. Okay, this is all toned charcoal so far. Here's another toned charcoal, the whole paper toned with charcoal. Erase for the lights. Add for the darks. Some places, look at the side of that box. It's just left, it's the same tone as that, the side of the block. But it works for that middle value. Again, erase where it needs to be light, darken it where it needs to be dark. Here's another toned charcoal drawing. Okay, one more. We'll maybe come back to this. Here's the tone of the paper. The whole paper was toned with charcoal, subtracted with an eraser here and here to get the light areas, made it darker here with the charcoal. Some areas left the tone of the paper. We'll talk, uh, maybe I should mention it now. You notice with this, this type of drawing, that it's hard to finish an edge so that it looks good for your composition. You can cut that drawing out and mount it, mount it to another piece of paper and then you get a nice clean presentation. Something to keep in mind for our final. Okay, let's look at these. This is the similar process but using graphite. So I toned the whole area with graphite. I used the eraser to get the lights, the highlights, and I use my graphite pencil to go in and layer my darks to get them darker. So this is toned graphite, similar to toned charcoal, different material. Another one, tone the whole area, eraser to get light, pencil to get dark. There's a cloth with a pedestal and a block and a pair, using your eraser to get the highlights, using your pencil to get the core shadows in the dark. You'll notice there's a reflected light again, left just the tone of the background. Tone graphite, tone the whole thing, use the lights. That's pretty beat up and has a lot of marks in it, but that's uh, from a plaster cast. Oh, that one's sideways. Let's get that. Okay. Toned graphite. 
working additive and subtractive. Another cloth piece. All right, so let me show you how to go about toning that paper so you have a nice even tone on your paper of either charcoal or graphite. It will be your choice which one to use and you might experiment with both. All right, in your kit, you will find a soft piece of cloth like this. It's actually a lamb skin and it's called a chamois, but it's made out of lamb skin. Take your piece and cut it in half because you'll use one for charcoal and one for graphite. You don't really want to mix them up, so you kind of designate one for each method. There are a few ways of getting that tone on your paper. Let's start with charcoal. In your kit, you will have a, a block, a piece of charcoal like this. It's compressed charcoal. It's the same material that's in here, but it's just in a nice block shape, okay? So you can take this block and lay it on its side and have try and keep a nice light touch. Try and get that as smooth and even as you can to start with. That will help. You don't have to put a lot of charcoal down. Maybe something like that. Then you take your chamois. I like to kind of fold it up a little bit. And then you gently work that graphite going different directions. I'm going different directions. I could even use the Karate Kid wax on, wax off motion here. The idea is we try to be as careful as we can so that we have a nice, smooth, even finish. Okay, there's one method, using your stick of charcoal and gently putting some charcoal on, smoothing it out with your chamois. The other method is you could create a powder with your charcoal if, if you're having trouble getting a nice, smooth, even surface with that, sometimes this helps. You can take a piece of sandpaper and sand your charcoal stick against it so that you have like a snow globe. You're creating just a nice, even powdery You see that? I've just sanded my charcoal and created a dust, a charcoal dust over that whole thing. I'll take my chamois, kind of get it nice and flat and smooth. And then I try to make that as smooth and even as possible. I'm not pressing hard. I'm ha I have a pretty light touch on that. Trying to keep it fairly light. Wax on. Wax off. You know. There. There are two toned charcoal areas. And we'll demonstrate more in a minute. You can add dark with your pencil and you should, can subtract
with your eraser to get your lights. I've created a little value scale. Dark, little lighter, little lighter. Actually, this is just the tone of the paper. Eraser to get it lighter. Okay, now, that's charcoal. Graphite is really the same process. We're going to use our other piece of chamois so that we don't mix, and mix the different materials. You have in your kit a piece of charcoal. It's probably a rectangular stick. Mine happens to be round, but you're gonna try the same method. Well, I don't know if this round one's gonna work very well. Putting some graphite down. on your paper. You want your paper to be on a flat surface. Hopefully on your drawing board because it's nice and flat. My surface right here isn't as flat as I would like it. So I'm getting some lines of the pencil in there, the, the graphite stick. Okay, that's very light. That's a little too light, but it's the same method. It's the same method. Let me try this method. Here we have a 6B pencil, and I'm going to sand it and create some graphite dust. So you can experiment with both some charcoal and some graphite, especially on your practice sessions on Tuesday and Thursday. You can do as I've done and maybe do half a page in some different methods and, and so that when you go to do your assignment, you've practiced and maybe you've come up with a, a method you like and the material you like, whether it's graphite or whether it's charcoal. Okay, this is turning out a little better than the stick. It's, it's at least a little darker. You want something kind of, a, if, if we have a value scale of z zero to 10, you want something about, to be about a five. Mm. Yeah. There you have graphite area. It's really not as dark as I'd like it. I might say, I think I'd like that a little darker. No problem. Take your graphite pencil, piece of sandpaper, create a little more graphite dust, graphite powder on there, and As we say, sometimes voila, you have a little more powder on there. Slightly darker tone. Slightly more even. Okay, the next step, the next step is to set yourself up. I've got a little 
setup over here. I've got a nice light source so that I have a, some bright highlights. I have some core shadows. I have some reflective lights. I have some cast shadows. Okay, so I am going to begin with a light contour line of some of the major shapes. This is really where you don't want to press hard. Let me show you why. If I press lightly, I could erase that, but you can take your chamois and rub it over and basically erase the lines you've put in there. If I draw something too dark to start with, let's say I go really dark. Here's the eye socket. Let's say I start that dark. The chamois probably won't erase it completely. It'll lighten it up, but it won't erase it. If I say that line is wrong, I want to erase that line. I would have to press fairly hard, but then I've sort of ruined the tone of the background. And you could take your chamois and put that tone back in, sort of, but you can see that if I've erased too hard, I still have a streak. So the key again is, first of all, don't draw too hard. Second, don't erase too hard. So if I again start lightly, start very light. I'll work in an area here where you can see both light and dark treatments, or should we say additive and subtractive. Additive, we're going to add graphite. Subtractive, use the eraser to subtract the graphite, and therefore we get kind of the best of both worlds. Okay, here's the nose. I could start by putting a light layer of value in that sinus nostril cavity. Again, layer your darks. We don't just start with the darkest area and press hard with our pencil, but maybe we start with a light tone. We add some graphite there. We add a little here. And if we want it darker, we keep adding. So here's, here's a nice core shadow right here. Now, if I, if I wanted to, I, I would probably normally go with my pencil for a while and really add some layers and get some of those darks established. But for time's sake, I'll grab the eraser and start erasing some of those highlight areas. It's almost like drawing, but with a pencil, with an eraser. But in this instance, you're you're subtracting with your eraser. But it's kind of similar to to adding, in that you just. I'll just start off with subtracting a little bit to begin with. 
just like I add just a little bit at a time. Okay. Add some darks inside this cavity area. And yeah, it could go darker, but I'll just wait. I'll be patient. I won't make it completely dark until I need to. Maybe I should get down to this other eye socket so we can kind of see what's going on here. Cool set of holes in the back of the eye cavity. This is a, we think this is the skull of a uh, coyote that my daughter found while hiking out in the desert years ago. Cool looking skull. Sort of deep hole here. I can see my proportions are somewhat off. Okay, well, that is the process. Whether you choose graphite or charcoal, it's very similar. You tone the whole piece of paper, you start off lightly with a contour line, and then you add graphite or charcoal where you want it to be darker, you subtract graphite background where you want it to be lighter and you leave the tone of the paper where that middle value will suffice. You don't have to either put graphite down or subtract over the whole thing. There are places where you'll just leave it that gray of the paper which is a kind of a magical, fun way that this method works. Okay. Maybe I should draw a little bit of that. lips keep it light
Okay. Yes. So practice. Practice on that for Tuesday and Thursday, and that will be our assignment uh, for this next week. So, good luck. Happy drawing. Stay indoors in your house and wherever you are, and just have fun drawing. What could be better than that? Okay, see ya.